All right, so in this video, we will be doing a rates of reaction experiment using sulfuric acid and sodium thiosulfate. So we are assessing the effect of concentration and the rate of reaction. In the first trial, we are going to add 25 cm cube of sodium thiosulfate to the sulfuric acid which is already in the conical flask. The student is going to swirl the conical flask until this solution gets opaque. And if you notice here, there's an X. So when the X is no longer visible, we have a timer here. So we're going to time the, the reaction. And when the X is no, when the X when you cannot see the X through the conical flask, we are going to stop the, the reaction. So, stamp, go ahead. Start the timer. Swirl. Mm -hmm. Stop swirl, all right, yeah. So as you can see there now, the X is no longer visible through the conical flask. And the time is eight seconds. All right. All right. So we're doing two trials over there. There is one experiment over here. We have one experiment, and she's doing a next one. So she's going to do the same thing again. Uh, 25 mils of sodium thiosulfate to 25 cm cube of the hydrochloric acid. You can. Go ahead. All right. Start the timer. Mix. Can mix faster. All right. Stop and look. All right. Stop the timer. All right. So yours took seven seconds. All right. So it is important that the the individual the experimenters or the individual reaction time is quick. All right, so now this is the second trial. So in the first experiment, it was 25 acid and 25 sodium thiosulfate. So we are varying the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate to see how it will affect the rate. So this time we, we are adding five mils of water and 20, and 20 mils of, of sodium thiosulfate so we are diluting the thiosulfate all right all right so that's the five mils of of water and the 20 mils of sodium thiosulfate and now the acid all right so I think it's opaque now. Stop and look. Yeah, it's opaque. And so this time it took 10 seconds, 10.79. So we can see the rate. It takes a longer time as the solution is being diluted. Or we can see as the rate, as the concentration of the thiosulfate de decreased, it took a longer time. So we're going to do three more of this. Right. Yeah, man, ready? All right, so over here is our second experimenter. All right, go ahead. So she already of the, of the water and the thiosulfate inside of the conical flask. So she's going to add the 25 ml of the acid now. Notice the color. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's stop it there. All right. Seconds, All right. <laughs> All right. So we're on to the third trial now. We are we are going to use ten mils of water and fifteen mils of the thiosulfate. So th throughout the experiment, the acid will stay constant at 25 
you can go ahead so that's the 10 mils of water and the 15 mils of clear sulfate You sure you can't see the X? Alright. Alright, so we're over here. Turn your phone. So we're on to the next experiment over here. So it's the same thing. Punt and go on. Yeah, man. Keep it close to the X. Alright. Stop. Can I see the X? Alright. Time 14.49. How much was your time? Stop. Alright. Alright, so in this channel now we're going to use right so we we are using how much water now? How much water? 10 water and 15 you sure? no, no man. 15 water right so we are using 15 water and 10 tire sulfate alright go ahead stump alright and that's the yeah alright mix it a little stir it a little alright start the timer first Right, so once you can't see the X, you just stop it. You sure no one stop it? You can't see X? No. Exactly. Alright, so this one takes 22.49 seconds. Your turn, fun time. Yeah, it's it, Alright, your turn. Yeah. All right. Keep it closer to the X. All right. Here is took. 20. Here's took how much? 26? Yeah. Alright, so this one is the final one. We are using 20 mils of water, 5 mils of thiosulfate, and again 25 mils of acid. So the total volume is always 50. Alright, go ahead. No man, she should not edit it. <laughs> Keep it on on the timer. Right. Alright, so each time the reaction is taking longer because the concentration of the thiosulfate is decreasing for each trial so therefore we can say that as the concentration of the reactant decreases mm -hmm. the rate of reaction the time takes a longer time so the rate of the reaction also decreases it, sl it slows down Right, and clearly we can see that the X is no longer visible at this time. Can see it a little here. 
All right, it stopped now, all right? Mm -hmm. and one minute. This one took, as you can see, it took a minute to occur because we only used five mils of the tire sulfate. Ready? Yeah. Orbit. <laughs> yeah, it's in a record. Oh, I never hear Mr. Ribbit. Right. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. All right. So, right. So if you notice the time, the time difference between the two experiments is approximately about two seconds. Okay. So we can say that is due to the re the reaction time of the persons, right, or their assessment of when to stop the reaction. Right, so that's it. So we, can, so we can clearly see that for this experiment, as the concentration of the sodium thiosulfate decreased, the rate of the reaction also decreased. Right, so after this, the typical write-up would involve the student plotting graphs right, of the volume of thiosulfate versus time and volume of thiosulfate versus the inverse of time all right so that's the experiment yeah